The L.L. Bean Guide to the Outdoors. It was written by Bill Rivier, uh, along with the staff of L.L. Bean. Here's a little bit about the author. Uh, uh, Bill Rivier has spent a lifetime exactly where he wants to be in the outdoors. He, uh, he's worked as a lumberjack, served with the U.S. Border Patrol, and, it's, uh, and is a former Maine guide. He has fished and canoed the Okefenokee Swamp to British Columbia and has demonstrated uh, American outdoor equipment in the Soviet Union. His many books include The Camper's Bible, Pole Paddle and Portage, Backcountry cab, uh, Camping, a longtime columnist with the Boston Globe. Uh, Riviere is a member of the Outdoor Writers Association of America, and uh, he lives uh, with his wife in, up in Maine, or did live with his wife up in Maine. The uh, book was written in 1981, and it's dedicated to the memory of Leon, Leon Wood Bean, that would be L.L. Bean, 1872 to 1967. This is a, quite an extensive book. I believe it is about 280 pages. Here's the table of contents. Uh, you've got a chapter on weather, clothing, boots, sleeping bags, shelters, uh, packing gear, Pots and pans, dining under the, the sky, woods tools, winter travel, uh, which would be cross-country skis and snowshoes, canoes, uh, maps and compasses. It's got everything in this book. Here's a little note uh, at the beginning of the book that uh, the author wrote. I have long believed that when the time comes, any person appearing at the pearly gates should be given an alternative destination, the state of Maine. What's more, those who have led an exemplary lives should also be awarded an internal, automatically renewable, unlimited L.L. Bean gift certificate. That was written in 1981. Here's a chapter on weather and uh, a couple of little little homespun weather forecastings. When the glass falls low, prepare for a blow. When it rises high, let all your kites fly. Here's another one. Long falling, long last, short notice, soon passed. Uh, here's another one. Red sky at the morning, sailors take warning. Red sky at night, sailors delight. And uh, another one of these homespun uh, Rainbow in the morning, shepherds take warning. Rainbow at night, shepherds delight. Rainbow to the windward, foul fall all the day. Rainbow to the leeward, damp runs away. And there's illustrations on the different cloud formations and what, what those would uh, predict as far as weather goes. Quite an extensive uh, chapter on... Uh, Backwoods weather. Now the chapter on clothing. Some nice illustrations on how to layer your clothing. Uh, the insulation required for comfort in the various temperatures from 40 all the way down to uh, minus 40. Different type of fibers. Got a chapter on cotton, wool, other synthetics. Like I said, this book is very, very uh, extensive. Just on, uh, on clothing alone here, uh, he's got several, several pages written. Gloves. Here we've got another chapter on boots and shoes, putting your best foot forward. Uh, 
There's some moccasin field books. Beautiful illustrations in this. There's a pair of medium weight hiking boots. Fabric boots, leather boots. Of course, the uh, famous uh, main hunting shoe that L.L. Bean's famous for. And uh, also how to take care of your foot. Another chapter on uh, sleeping bags. The cost, the durability, the shapes. Which bag is best for you? Pads and mattresses. There's a sleeping pad. Shelter and tents uh, for all seasons. There's a double wall tent. Various uh, poles, stakes and anchors. There's a little, little write-up on weather resistance, tent types. There's a lightweight three-season tent. We've got the basic uh, A-frame shelter. We've got a dome tent without the fly, a tunnel tent. Here's some uh, tents for wintertime, larger fixed camp tents. There's a cabin tent, Baker style, and how to choose the right tent for yourself. Tells you based on uh, how many uh, people will be staying in the tent, uh, his recommendations. Next chapter is uh, packing gear. And you got day packs and overnight packs. Uh, Weekend packs, internal frame pack, all sorts of information on packing your gear. There's a waterproof river bag, a Duluth pack, pack basket. We've got a, a, a box to put all your gear in, a belt pouch, and a belt pack. Another chapter on pots and pans, dining under the sky. Got a list of uh, a sample menu for a four-day backpacking trip and a sample menu for a four-day canoe trip. It's got some information on freeze-dried and dehydrated uh, foods. Organizing your menu. There's a uh, folding reflector oven, a Dutch oven, some utensils, uh, backpackers, grids. So I've got, even got a recipe in here on uh, bean hole beans, stoves. There's various types of uh, common gas stoves, kerosene stove, butane stoves, propane stoves. And we get to uh, portable lanterns. You got your uh, typical uh, white gas lantern and a uh, butane lantern. Here's a chapter that I found of interest uh, on on woods tools. Uh, got some axes on on how the ha the handle and the head should be aligned. You got how the grain should run in an axe handle. Here's got different types of axe. You got a hatchet, you got a Hudson Bay, you got a cedar, a pole, and a double bit. And a little explanation on each of those type of axes. Here we've got folding saws and uh, bow saw. And a little bit about knives. There's a fillet knife. Uh, here's different types of uh, blades. You got a California clip, a bee clip, a spear, a spy, a sheep foot, and a plane. And all the parts of a knife, folding knife that is. 
We got even got a chapter on uh, my favorite, the Swiss Army knife. We got parts of a sheath knife, how to sharpen your tools, all sorts of information here. There's a splitting wall. Winter travel, cross country on skis and snowshoes. There's the different types of uh, uh, wood touring ski, how that's made. Selecting your skis. Here's uh, ski bases. This would be uh, no wax skis. And then uh, waxable skis and tells you the different uh, temperature ranges for your different types of uh, wax for your cross country skis, whether the snow is new or old snow. Got here a uh, little information on boots. We got poles, bindings. Now we got a little bit about snowshoes. There's an illustration of uh, main snowshoes. This is what they're calling a pair of pickerel snowshoes, modified bear paws, uh, beaver tail snowshoe, green mountain snowshoes, and a Sherpa snowshoe. And it tells you under snowshoe selection, bindings, different types of bindings. All sorts of information on, on skis and snowshoes, how, how to do field repairs. Uh, if you're transporting a load, you, whether you use a toboggan, a sled, uh, whether to choose skis or snowshoes. The chapter on canoes, uh, wood canvas canoes, cedar strip canoes, fiberglass, aluminum, Here's some drawings of uh, uh, some, some canoes, canoe weights, the capacity, you name it, it's in this book. The hull shape, the depth, which canoe is best for you. Got a section here on paddles, different style paddles. Outboard motors, square stern canoes, uh, life vests, repair kits, carrying yokes, bailers, knee pads, wetsuits, deck and spray covers, car top carriers. And uh, another chapter here, map and compass, north is that way, there's an illustration of a compass, different types of compasses, lots of information on how to use a compass. There's a topographical map, examples of topographical maps, how to read them. Uh, the setting the, or the symbols on a map. Very back of the, uh, the book, it's got a section on a checklist, equipment checklist for warm weather, for cold weather. Uh, breaks it all down, personal gear, bedding, shelter, packs, kitchen, miscellaneous, transportation. Got a section here on first aid. And then lastly, it's got a section of outdoor organizations along with their addresses to contact them. This was before the internet, so they don't have... Uh, email addresses or website information, but they have mailing addresses for all sorts. The Adirondacks Mountain Club, the American Canoe Association, uh, the Appalachian Mountain Club, Bass Angler Society, 
Ducks Unlimited, Federation of Fly Fishermen, uh, the Green Mountain Club, Isaac Walton League, National Audubon Society. Just an example of a few. Uh, got the uh, National Rifle Association in here, the National Wildlife Federation, the Rough Grouse Society, the Wilderness Society, Trout Unlimited, you name it. It's listed in here with the uh, mailing addresses back in when this book was written. So there you have it, uh, a great old time book, uh, The L.L. Bean Guide to the Outdoors. If you can find this book, uh, pick it up. It's a great resource book. I highly recommend it. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and take care till next time.